as uh, we've discussed in part one, cells are surrounded by um, other cells and extracellular matrix material and lots of soluble cues and factors that influence their behavior in really dramatic and important ways. And one um, really Im important type of informational cue comes from uh, the information that cells get from interacting with the extracellular uh, matrix. Extracellular matrix interaction occurs at specialized uh, zones of the cell surface, which in cultured cells are called focal adhesions. These um, focal adhesions, as we discussed last time, are areas that are rich in uh, integrin uh, adhesion receptors, and um, they are playing a really important role in bidirectional uh, transmembrane communication. The focal adhesions sense extracellular matrix, but they also are involved in sensing cues that are present on cell surfaces, um, and they also, as we'll discuss in part three, can um, sense physical stress uh, such as mechanical uh, stimulation. The responses that cells launch um, as a result of the signaling through the specialized region of the membrane are really very diverse and include control of cell growth or cell death, uh, cell motility, cytoskeletal organization, and these um, signals can even result in uh, changes in gene expression, illustrating that there must be some mechanism by which um, the molecules present at these adhesion sites are able to communicate with the nucleus. Integrins are the primary receptor for extracellular matrix um, that are located at these specialized adhesion zones. Uh, they're concentrated at these focal adhesions. They mediate transmembrane bidirectional uh, signaling. And a really interesting challenge it has been to try and understand how they uh, signal to affect so many really important cell behaviors. Because unlike growth factor receptors, they themselves don't have any intrinsic catalytic activity. Rather, they seem to operate by recruitment of a large collection of cytoplasmic proteins to the, um, uh, transmembrane, to the cytoplasmic face of the plasma membrane, and it's these proteins which really facilitate um, integrin signaling function. There are over 50 components that are present um, with integrins at these focal adhesions. And these are highly dynamic structures where uh, proteins are coming and going. There are both structural components and catalytic constituents. Here you can see an example of um, one, uh, the evidence of one catalytic constituent, and that is um, tyrosine kinases and their substrates, because here we're labeling the cell with an antibody directed against phosphotyrosine, and you can see that uh, these bright patches here where phosphotyrosine is accumulated represent the focal, focal adhesions, where integrins would also be concentrated, and where you can see there's a very um, close connection with the ends of the um, actin filaments, the stress fibers that terminate at these, at these sites.